planet is in the process of developing a system where we can permanently sequester tens of gigatons of carbon dioxide annually as incorporating CO2 into synthetic limestone aggregate, which is then used in concrete. Um, concrete is the most used building material in the world. And uh, one of the few places that offers a reservoir to sequester large amounts of CO2. So traditionally, um, we've looked at concrete as a material that has a carbon footprint, and we've wanted to lower its carbon footprint. And there have been many measures uh, to do that. And since most of that carbon footprint is uh, accountable to the Portland cement in the concrete, most of the work has been on how to lower the carbon footprint of the, corporate, of the Portland cement in the concrete. We're taking another approach. Uh, 80, 70, 80% of the concrete is actually aggregate. And we're, uh, we're using aggregate as a place to sequester CO2. Uh, and that allows us to uh, address a much, much larger CO2 capture capability. There's about three or four billion tons of Portland cement manufactured every day, year. There's over 50 gigatons of, of uh, rock uh, that's mined and transported. Most of it's used in uh, concrete and most of it is limestone. And just about every analysis of, you know, carbon utilization markets um, has, um, uh, used um, aggregate as its principal constituent. Now, uh, Blue Planet has a process whereby we can uh, capture CO2 and turn it directly into a carbonate. Uh, and we have uh, a system here where we can use any material, refractory material like waste concrete and combine it. Uh, we dissolve products out of it and combine it with CO2 to form aggregate, which is then used in concrete. Uh, we use a number of different materials for that, uh, such as return and demolished concrete. Um, the CO2, because we're not trying to purify it, can come from any source at any concentration. And uh, the byproducts we produce can be used uh, quite effectively uh, at um, uh, for recycling and part of the circular economy. Our first plant is uh, finishing construction right now and uh, starting to operate. It's on uh, San Francisco Bay. It uh, takes in uh, CO2 from a natural gas fired power plant and combines it with uh, calcium, which comes from local waste and returned concrete and makes a variety of products. Uh, these products are uh, limestone, pure calcium carbonate uh, that uh, are 44% by mass CO2. So natural limestone is over 40% CO2. So if we have a ton of this uh, limestone, we're, we've captured permanently in the mineralized form, uh, sequestered, crystallized CO2 that's permanently sequestered. We began our first um, use about six years ago at San Francisco International Airport, Terminal 1, uh, where the concrete was placed. Uh, the products we produce are not only um, the concrete uh, containing uh, concrete with uh, pure limestone in it, but we also produce concretes that have uh, the recycled materials from, from where we extracted the calcium. We've looked at several uh, different uh, models and are scaling up, uh, not just um, at our location in San Francisco, but we're also scaling up uh, at a number of other locations globally today with partners. Um, there's a rating system that's been developed to assess the embodied carbon in concrete. Uh, it's called the Carbon Star System, which we've been using to quantify how much CO2 we're actually capturing in concrete. And uh, it turns out it's um, possible to um, sequester uh, 
enough CO2 by using CO2 sequestered aggregate in the in the concrete to actually give the concrete a negative carbon footprint. So it's um, actually net sequestering carbon uh, from an external source like the post-combustion capture from many industrial sites. And, and the, the concrete becomes where we're sequestering and mitigate all the mitigated carbon rather than say geologic injection. Um, we have a number of partners uh, that are helping us in the commercialization of this endeavor uh, and it's growing rapidly at this time. Uh, we have a, a lot of intellectual property and our plan is to license this um, as we're in the middle with a number of our partners. Some partners are developers or EPC firms, others are CO2 emitters, other partners supply us with feedstock, other partners uh, are off-taking our material. Some want to own these plants. So we're looking at a variety of different commercialization strategies to get the Blue Planet system out to thousands of plants around the world, providing uh, this carbon sequestered aggregate, which governments can specify through procurement policies in a carbon uh, negative system of materials that's revenue neutral for them. Thank you very much. That's the end of my report.